you're having a great day. Today I want to talk about a topic that I've spoken about <clears throat> many times before, but we need to keep reminding ourselves of the dangers of suppressed emotions over the years. Today there's a direct correlation between suppressed emotions and disease. You see, diseases are multifactorial. There are many, many things that lead to disease. You don't just eat sugar and get diabetes. You don't just wake up with cancer one day. It's been in your body for a while. You know, so the whole point is understanding that beyond medicine, there are many, many things that we can do. For the longest time, we've been programmed by society and the world to believe that medicine is the only way, allopathy. It's great. It can save lives. You need chemotherapy, radiation, surgery, diabetic medication. You need all of that if you need it. But beyond that, you also need to make lifestyle changes. So while some people change their nutrition and start to work out, that's good. Many people miss out on sleep. But the biggest miss is emotions. Today we know there is enough of scientific research showing us how suppressed emotions can lead to the deadliest diseases. And the science is simple because suppressed emotions creates anxiety in the body. You spend more time living in the sympathetic nervous system. <clears throat> Whereas all the healing and recovery and prevention happens in the parasympathetic nervous system. So you have a hormonal imbalance, you have inflammation, 94% of the diseases are categorized as inflammatory conditions. So the point is, your problem may be real. Maybe you don't know who to express to, but the point is, it is not impossible. Today, you can take a therapist, you can take a counselor, you can express to a family member, a sibling, a friend, doesn't matter. I know some people who have no one to talk to, but they write. They express through writing and then they tear it up. Some people record voice notes of their anger, what they're feeling, what they want to say to people that they can't say it to. The point is, expression is important. A lot of people think that, oh, if I express my problems won't change, no one's gonna change, no one's gonna give me a solution. It's not about you getting a solution, it's about you expressing anything that you keep. I mean, it's the simple example of a pressure cooker, okay? You know the pressure cooker is gonna explode at some point if the pressure is released through the whistle. It's the same thing in the human body. And today the research is pretty scary, but the point is what you need to ask yourself is, how come we get to know only about the research that induces fear in us, that scares us, that sells us a product and all of that stuff? How come the research about the beauty of prayer, the beauty of simple lifestyle changes, sleep, emotions, they never reach the limelight? Why? It exists. How come no one tells you, no one prescribes your medicines along with, hey, take it easy, be careful of emotional health, express emotions. Very few people do that. Very few doctors do that. The point is because that research doesn't make money for anyone. It's too easy. There is no profit to be made out of that. Most of the research that you're hit with on a daily basis, someone's going to make a lot of money from it. So wake up, wake up and start using a little bit of common sense and focusing on things that make sense to you. Of course, if you suppress emotions, you don't feel good all the time. Now, if you're not feeling good because it's suppressed, you'll start to have vices. You start to solve those problems with alcohol, with drugs, with over-socializing, with mindless affairs, sex, relationships, and all of that stuff. They're cover-ups to make you feel better because you're filled with toxic emotions that you've not had the ability to express. We see this in our cancer patients all the time, and today medical science is showing us that 98% of breast cancer patients have deeply rooted emotions that they need to express. Most men with prostate cancer have anger issues, suppressed anger. They constantly get irritable or they have these violent outbursts and then they're calm again because there's something that needs to come out once and for all. So the whole point is expression. Very, very important. A lot of depression also is related to suppression where you just feel no one will understand you so you don't express. The point is not about being understood. The point is not about being getting a solution. That would be lovely. That would be ideal. The point is getting it out of your system because as human beings, we're not meant to keep this in us. So you have to find an outlet. Now, some people take those emotions and they put it into workouts. They put it into push-ups. They put it into squats. They put it out into a run. They put it into a walk in nature. Some channel it into art. Some channel it into music. Some channel it into writing. That's good. You're channeling your anger. You're channeling your bitterness into something else. That's a good way of suppressing. But try to build relationships in your life which are so mature and so fulfilling that you have the ability to express.
Today, when we counsel a lot of young couples, old couples, teenagers, all of that stuff, you know, then these great relationships, everyone's hot, dressing up hot, great sex, all of that stuff. But the relationships are still breaking up because at some point, they, I, I, besides this, I have nothing else. You know, I don't think he understands me. I don't think she understands me. We can't even talk about emotions. We can't even talk about this. So all of these material and these, you know, fancy things, pleasure based stuff, which is also important, intimacy, it fades away. But when you build intimacy, that's beautiful. Some of the best relationships thrive because there's intimacy. Okay, there may not be that much of sex, there may not be that much of partying and drugs and alcohol, but they survive because of intimacy. But you know a lot of relationships where people are partying, drinking, all of that stuff, they tend to break up because there's nothing besides the alcohol and everything else, there's nothing else. So you need to understand when you're looking for a partner or you're in a relationship, while everything seems good, it is important for you to build conversation, communication, because that's beautiful. You're going to need it at every aspect of your life to express, to talk about things. But what if you're in a situation when you can't, where you can't, you suppress it. And then there are, of course, situations where there's child abuse, there's rape, there's molestation, a lot of that stuff. You know, yeah, you need therapy. You need to speak to someone who can help you through that pain. That expression is also important, especially in our country, India. I don't know about other countries. There are a lot of women out there and men who have been abused as children, as teenagers, even as adults, and they're not allowed to speak about it. They're not allowed to express it. And they come to us with disease. And then we got to get them onto a counselor who can, you know, get it out of them, get it, get them to express breakdown and the healing after that is therapeutic. So please understand the importance of expression. Okay, now there are a lot of people who may not express their introverts, but at least they're processing it. And so let's say something emotional happens to me today. I don't need to go and tell the world. I don't need to share it as long as I'm processing it. So I sit down and I understand, okay, yeah, this made me feel bad. Okay, I could do this differently. Okay, I'll just let go of that person. That's how it is. I've processed it. That's okay as well. But if you're not processing it and you're constantly suppressing it and it's making you feel bad, it's coming out in your behavior, your feeling, your outlook towards life, it is going to hurt you. It is going to hurt you at some point at a physical level. So a lot can be done beyond nutrition, beyond medicine, beyond sunshine, beyond exercise. It is what's happening inside of you. So I encourage everyone to constantly reflect and it is never too late to express. It is never too late to open up, talk about it, you know, to the right people. Remember what we did on oversharing. So you want to be careful of oversharing because remember, uh, privacy is protection. But have such good relationships in your life. That relationship doesn't have to come in the form of a lover. <clears throat> it doesn't have to come in the form of a husband or a wife. Ideally, it would be nice that way. It can come out in the, in the form of a friend, an aunt, an uncle, a parent, a sibling. It doesn't matter. But life's about building these relationships because it helps. And that's why community and society 15, 20 years ago was so important for us. And at that point, depression, emotional issues were literally unheard of because people could talk without the feeling of being judged, without their ego coming in the way that what will people think of me if I express. So it is so important for us to understand this and apply it to our own lives. Have a great day, everyone. Until next time, eat smart, move more, sleep right, breathe deep. And remember, you care. It's all about you.